Okay, folks, what I want to talk to you about today is the TXV. We'll talk about the makeup of the TXV in a later date, but right now I want to talk to you about the sensing bulb only. I have a lot of people ask me about the sensor bulb, and I want you to know the sensor bulb is what controls the TXV. The TXV uh, sensor bulb will sense the temperature change on the evaporator coil, and it will send a signal through a gas down to the TXV. And what you need to understand, the TXV is like the carburetor of the AC system. The more Freon you need, it opens up. The less Freon you need, it closes down. All this is done through the sensing bulb. Now you ask, what's inside of a sensor bulb? There's gases inside the sensor bulb. And one thing I want you to show up, you see how I got this pointed to the top? Just so you know, this thing has to always be pointed up in order to evaporate the gas, to turn it into a gas so it sends a signal down based on the temperature. Okay, now nothing I want to show you here. I'm just going to take a TXV. This one here happens to be factory mounted. I just want to leave that clip on there. But I'm going to pull it loose. Now I want you to listen to the gases inside the TXV bulb. All I'm going to do is cut it in two. And then we're going to look at this. Inside it, there's a chalky substance, usually a square, that's inside of it. And at the top of it, there's going to be a screen. Okay, now get close, get close. You hear that? That is the gas that's inside the sensor bulb to send the signal down to the TXV to open and to close. That's very important. That's the, something else I want to point out. I always tell my technicians, if you get the sensor bulb more than 150 degrees, you're going to blow it. So if you take it into an attic situation and you just leave it hanging it's overnight or the, the heat in the attic gets to about 130, 40 degrees, replace the TXV since the bulb's bad. So come here, I want to show you what's going on inside this thing. It's pretty hard to pull out sometimes without breaking these. Okay, see? A chalky substance. See how it is? Just want you to see this. Nothing but a chalky substance. That's all it is. Okay, now I want you to look inside the uh, unit here. Here's another one I just took apart earlier. Has a screen down inside of it that filters out any contaminants that may get up here and restrict this port that actually evaporates the gas. I just thought you might want to see what's inside of a sensing bulb. Things to remember. Tube goes up in the vertical. It goes out toward the evaporator coil in the horizontal position. Make sure you wrap the valves very carefully when you go to sweat these in. Some valves are made to sweat in. Some are made with flaring nuts. Do not exceed 150 degree temperature. And apply all manufacturer specifications and all good working practices. If you have any questions, just give us a call at Jones Air Conditioning about TXV sensing bulbs. 239-596-5855. Go to jonesairconditioning.com. Please subscribe, please share, and please comment. Thank you.